In this video, I'm going to take my Bush Box outdoor pocket stove from Bushcraft Essentials and combine it with a second one to create one large stove. If you're interested in seeing how it's done, keep watching. So before we begin, I just want to declare that Bushcraft Essentials did send both of these stoves to me for testing and review. I did not pay for these. I also want to declare that I'm receiving no compensation for making these videos. So, uh, why would you even want to combine these two stoves together? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I guess one is that the performance of these two stoves together is more than the stoves are individually. So that might be reason enough, but I guess that only makes sense if you have two of these stoves. Are you likely to have two of these stoves? Well, if you're fortunate like I am, maybe you are, but if you have one, and someone else you're going out for a hike with has another, then maybe you do have a reason to connect them and try this out. So that's the reason why, but how's it done? Well, let's go down to the tabletop and I'll show you. As you may already be aware, I do have a comprehensive review of the Bushbox Pocket Outdoor Stove from Bushcraft Essential, and I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one and in the video description below. And the reason for doing that is I'm not going to spend any time going over the specifications for the stove in this video, but if you'd like to learn everything I had to say about it, please go back and watch that video. What I do want to do is compare it with the titanium version, which Bushcraft Essentials did send to me after I released the first video on the stainless steel version. So in every way, they are identical stoves with the exception of the material made from and their weight. So whereas the stainless steel version comes in at nine ounces or 255 grams, the titanium version comes in at 5.2 ounces or 147 grams. So it's about 40% lighter in weight. Otherwise they're identical. One more small difference is the titanium version has TI stamped into one of its, uh, or its back plate, just to distinguish it visually from the other one. But uh, you'll know as soon as you pick them up, it's, it's incredibly the difference in weight between the two of them. Okay, so how am I going to take both of these stoves and hook them together and make one big stove out of them? Well, Bushcraft Essential came up with a neat little device known as the coupler. And the coupler is just going to replace two of the plates on the, the pocket stoves and link them together. So let me show you how that's done. So before we do, it's either the front plate with the feed holes that we're going to remove or it's the back plate that we're going to remove. Uh, I think the back, removing the back plate makes the most sense for doing this because that what that allows is when you've got them linked together, you've got feed ports at both ends. In fact, you can feed sticks right through the whole stove. So let me just take the stoves apart a little bit. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm not going to do any magic here, but I just want to cut down a little bit of the time. So I'm going to take the stoves partially apart and show you how they go back together with the coupler. All right, so all I did is I took the back plates off of the two stoves and we're just going to lay those aside and you can see now that the stoves are wide open on the back. We have both of the plates, the, uh, the ash plate and the fire grill or fire grate and still installed in the stoves. So this is where you want to be. Now, it doesn't matter which stove you start with, but take your coupler, lay it in place. You don't lock it in, but lay it in place as if it was one of the back plates that you were about to put on that stove. Take the other stove bring it up to it. Now, I don't know that there's any right way or wrong way to do this, but what I have found is that if I take the tabs of one of the stoves, those tabs on the sides, and place them or lay them against the outsides of the corresponding tabs, it just makes it a little easier. Uh, they could be, you know, interlocked this way, but I'm placing them on the outside of both tabs. Now, you do have to do a little bit of Jigg not jiggling, but moving the things around so that when you lift up your plate, that coupler plate, uh, it, it's going to ride above the locking tabs. And then with a little bit of manipulation, and don't knock it like I just did, you'll find that you can line up all of the tabs and work the coupler down in. Uh, it was just out of alignment. There we go. Okay, so once they're lined up, the coupler is going to lock down in place, and now you have one solid stove with feed ports on either end and open passage right through the stove to allow for large sticks to be fed through. And then at that point, of course, you can put your pot rest back on if you're going to use them, and you're ready to go. So I think a demonstrator. A video like this requires a demonstration of how this operates and how much better it is putting two stoves together. So let's get outside and do that. All right, so I've set the two 
park door pocket stoves up in my fire pit connected together by the coupler in the center. I went ahead and preloaded some birch bark along the bottom and as you can see stuck some sticks through the length of it. These are very small little twig sticks and uh, I'm going to light it from both ends just so we can get the fire going a little faster that way. And it's going to take a minute, of course, for that to work its way into the uh, kindling that's inside. The body of fuel will come later. We'll just give this a second to get going. Then I have a whole raft of little sticks here that I'm just broken off at tree branches. Dead tree branches, of course. And uh, we'll build it up. So I mentioned that there are benefits to having these two stoves linked together. Now, you know, admittedly, this is not something you're going to do all the time, and uh, it's unlikely. Well, if you do have both of two of these stoves, it, that's great. If you don't, but your buddy does or your, your partner has, then that's even better. Uh, the benefit of putting the two of them together is you get a, a larger critical mass of heat. So in cold weather, it's definitely going to work better that way. And also, the biggest advantage in my mind is putting on large pots or fry pans. So I'm going to be, in a minute, putting on my uh, Pathfinder bush pot here, which is a 14 centimeter pot, but you know, I could get a full size cast iron fry pan on that without any problems whatsoever. All right, that's catching on. Let me throw in a few larger sticks. as I have some space to do that it. Yeah, some of these are sticks are long enough to go right through from one end to the other. Again, the benefit, less wood processing. You know, I could leave a longer one like this, except I don't have enough room to do it in my fire pit and just feed it in as I, ne as I need to. All right, that's not a bad little fire going already. Let's put the pot on, because that's what I want you to see is, you know, how much space there is on the bottom of the, or on top of the stove. I've got space on both sides of that pot that will, uh, you know, certainly accept a much larger pot. All right, very simple demonstration. That's basically all I wanted to show you with this stove is that you could connect two of them together. You may consider it a novelty, and in some respects it is, but if you happen to have two stoves or you and ha somebody else have two of these little stoves, then why not get the coupler and put them together? Okay, that was just a quick demonstration of how you can use the coupler to attach two of the Bushgrass Essentials Bushbox outdoor pocket stoves and make one larger stove out of them. Again, the benefits being that you can use much larger vessels like pots or fry pans or anything else on top of it and get a larger dynamic of heat, more so than you could from either the two stoves, even if they were sitting side by side. So I just want to offer that out there. And if you're interested, I'll put the information where you can purchase these couplers uh, in the show notes below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.